What's going on everyone? My name is Josh19 and today I wanted to show you guys how to record iPad games uh, using a program called Xmirage. Uh, this would be great if you guys want to upload any of your iPad gameplay to uh, YouTube or anything like that. Uh, this is a great tool to be able to use for that. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, first show you guys their website. Uh, so this is their website which is x-mirage.com. Uh, this is the home page. Uh, the, if you click on the X Mirage uh, link here, it'll actually give you some more information. You can watch some videos on how it works and things like that. And it also has a button here for buy now. This program is not free. It is $16 to have a license for it. Uh, however, it's definitely well worth it in my opinion. I think this is one of the, uh, the better and uh, best uh, mirroring uh, applications out there for your iPad. Or you can also use an iPhone with this as well. Um, also, if you click on the download link, you can download the actual program and it does include a seven day free trial. So you're welcome to try it without having to buy it first. There are a little bit of limitations with the trial version. Uh, you can't use fully, uh, fully use the record feature for a very long time. You're kind of limited on the time limits and stuff on that. But it does give you at least an opportunity to try it uh, before you actually have to buy it. So let me go ahead and show you the program here. Uh, let's go ahead and open up X Mirage and we're going to say yes because uh, I had already had it running. <laughs> um, so this is what it'll look like when you open it up. Um, the welcome tab, this gives you some examples of how you would actually connect your iPad or iPhone to X Mirage. Um, in this case, I have an iPad, so I would select iPad and I have iOS 7. Uh, well, actually, I have iOS 8 now, but. Um, it still functions the same way. Um, so I would choose iOS 7. Uh, the settings tab, this is you can optimize it for different resolutions. Uh, I've just left it at the default. And then you can change your AirPlay name. This is how it would display on your Air, um, your Air, AirPlay on your iPad. And then you can set a password. In this case, I just use 1234. Uh, you guys can use something more secure than that, obviously. Uh, but this is so that other people cannot connect to this if they were trying to. And then the About tab, this is going to tell you if you're uh, licensed or unlicensed. I have a registered copy because I've purchased it, so it tells me that it's registered to me. Um, and that's really, I mean, that's really all you have to do in this particular case. So let me go ahead and connect it and kind of show you guys what it'll look like. And then I'll kind of demonstrate how you connect it um, again as well once I connect it up here. Okay, uh, so we have it connected here now. Um, so let me kind of run through this again. All I did is swipe up and go to my control panel. And then here it would display um, AirPlay. In this case, it already displays X Mirage uh, Josh PC because I've connected it. But you would just click there and uh, you would go ahead and just select uh, your X Mirage and make sure that your mirroring is swiped uh, green or to the right. So that way it does mirror. And that's really all you got to do. And that's now it's connected. Um, it works really well in my opinion in terms of uh, its performance. I've used a couple other um, mirroring programs and they, there was a lot of delay and lag and I feel like this one works pretty good. Um, it's live display that you, like you guys are seeing right now is a little bit choppy so it may not be uh, the best method to use if you were trying to live stream or something like that but again it does have a record function which is very very good quality and I'll kind of show you guys that in a second as well. Um, this little player that they have is, is a player that you can um, use to, you can maximize it, you can full screen it. Uh, you can also, this button here is record or you can click here as well. And this is a little record button. Um, so that way you can actually record some footage as well. Um, so let me go ahead and I'm going to click record and start recording something for you guys. And we'll go ahead and open up a, a game here, uh, Clash of Clans. <laughs> And that way we can kind of take a look at this. Okay, so again, this is going to be a little bit choppy for you guys, but I'll show you the playback afterwards from recording, and you'll see it's definitely worth it. So it's pretty cool in terms of um, I'll try to do some zoom in and zooms out so you guys can kind of see. For you guys, it may look a little choppy right here, but uh, when I actually do the playback, it'll be nice and smooth. Um, so that's probably good. We don't need it to do anything very long. And then I'll go ahead and click the stop button here, and then I'll stop my recording. I can go ahead and get out of this so you guys don't have to hear that sound. 
Okay, um, once you hit the stop, it's going to have you bring up an export. Uh, this is going to, your output is where you're going to save it to. In this case, I'll just save it to my desktop, so it'll be easy. And you can change the name of it if you want. I'll just leave it default for now. Um, and then uh, I'll go ahead and click Start Export. So this is going to export out the actual file um, in terms of its actual uh, rendered copy of it. Um, it saves it by default as an MP4, as you can see here. And um, I would recommend using the MP4 just because it'll be easier for you guys to upload to YouTube and things like that, and as well as bring it into um, recording um, programs and thing or editing programs and things like that. Okay, so it's gone ahead and finished, um, so we don't need this open anymore, so I'll close it. And then I'll go ahead and disconnect my, my iPad at this point and you, by just clicking close, and that'll disconnect it. Um, also, if you click the X here, it'll hide it down here um, as well, so you can always just double-click it here again, and it'll bring it back up. So let me show you guys a rendered copy of that video real quick so you have an idea of how it would work. Um, so again, this is the rendered version. So you'll see that it's pretty smooth, and I think this is a little bit loud, so I'll turn it down some. Okay, so again, when you guys originally watched it, it was a little bit choppy. You, you kind of saw some of the um, different characters on the screen, like the archers and, and stuff. They were a little bit choppy, as well as when I was zooming in and out, it looked like it skipped up and skipped back a little bit. Um, but you can see the rendered version is very smooth. So this is great, again, for recording for YouTube, uh, if you guys need to record, and uh, you can use pretty much any type of game you want to play, or anything, I mean, it doesn't have to even be a game, you can record just about anything on your iPad, um, but it's definitely a great tool here that I feel like uh, provides a really good ability to record things for YouTube if you need to. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, you know, I thought it's, it's an awesome tool, and um, I know some of you guys like to record uh, gameplay and stuff, so I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to be able to uh, record things from your iPad and stuff like that, especially if you guys just recently got one for Christmas or anything like that. So um, I, hope this guys, uh, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, again, if you like the video, just please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more uh, videos from me in the future, then please subscribe, and don't forget to keep on owning.